This is a Laplace transform question and specifically what we're looking for is the convolution, uh, uh, to solve a convolution problem. So find the convolution h of t, that's the convolution of two other functions, f of t and g of t. Just as a remark actually, I use f and g in a lot of other formula, in a lot of other videos to signify specific things like for, for example, given in formula. But I, I won't be doing that in this case. It's just a sort of f of t and g of t don't, won't have that usual meanings that I put to them. f of t is simply t and g of t is equal to e to the t, uh, 2 times t. t. Uh, just as a sort of quick remark, this is for t greater than or equal to 0. So it's uh, non-negative time. Okay, so just as sort of, in your answers it's sort of important to put this down for t greater than or equal to 0 because it, these this stuff doesn't make sense for t less than 0. Okay, so th what we're asked to find is this function here h of t and it's the convolution of f of t and g of t. Now, our approach we're going to take is we're going to first we're going to find h of s and we're going to get the inverse Laplace transform of that and h of s is the multiple is the product of f of s times g of s okay this is the idea of convolution and why it's sort of uh, why you use Laplace transforms to uh, uh, solve it. So what we're going to do here is get f of t, get the uh, Laplace transform of that, that's a simple one, and g of t, find the Laplace transform of that, there we have it there. This is just, uh, these are straight out of the uh, formula sheet, uh, very simple ones, so right up the top. Um, okay, anyway, so h of s is the product of these two so that's necessarily going to be 1 over s squared times s minus 2 okay now here's the thing we're going to use partial fraction expansion for this we want to simplify it into a couple of uh, a couple a couple of simple terms so we have s squared and s minus 2 so essentially what you do is you uh, have a polynomial so we have one expression here s squared that's uh, a polynomial of degree 2 now what we would sort of do here uh, usually is have a s plus b over s squared Essentially what you do is, when you're sort of expanding it out, you use a polynomial of one degree less. As plus b is a polynomial of degree one because that is um, s to the power of one. Uh, and the, the, uh, the reason we use that is because it's uh, one less than two, which is s squared. Uh, so we write out a polynomial there, as plus b. Uh, these are sort of undetermined coefficients so far. Now we can sort of simplify that a bit uh, to a over s plus b over s squared. And also c is a, a polynomial of degree 1, so just essentially a polynomial degree 0 above it, which is a coefficient c. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do is we can rewrite 1 over s squared times s minus 2 as this a over s plus b over s squared plus c over s minus 2. Uh, but first we have to solve for a, b and c. So this is a long old question. So I'm going to scroll down here. What we could do here is just sort of multiply through by all the other terms and simplify. Okay. There's uh, lots of different approaches here that you can take. Uh, I am going to multiply a by um, s squared and s minus 2.
and it simplifies out a bit so I'm just got sort of checking out where essentially we're gonna have it all, all over the same um, all over the same denominator so we just have to sort of multiply out uh, by the other uh, essentially just to make sure that uh, the, all the um, uh, Numerator is the same. Sorry, just a sort of, just a sort of got a bit tongue tied there. Uh, so we have the denominator is s squared over s minus two. We have one a over s. So just to bring it up, we multiply a by s times s minus two, so that it's consistent. We have b over s squared, and we want that ha to have the denominator as s minus two. So we multiply b by s minus two, and we have c over s minus two, and we have so. We just to uh, just to sort of get it back in c consistent uh, form, we just multiply above and below by s squared. Now what we're going to do is multiply, simplify all of those expressions. Okay, so we have a s squared minus two a s plus b s minus two b plus c s squared. Now this is equal to one. Here, I'm actually going to write it on this side. This is equal to one over s squared plus oh uh, s squared times s minus 2 okay now it's particularly the numerator we're particularly interested in what I'm going to sort of say is that I, I'm going to write over this side just instead that's equal to 0 s squared plus 0 s plus 1 okay 0 let's put a z 0 s squared plus 0 s plus 1 is equal to all of this here. Okay, we'll, we'll disregard this from now on. Okay, so essentially we're going to match up the coefficients. Coefficients of s squared, we have 0 over here, and we have the coefficients of s squared on this side, we have a and c, so 0 equals a plus c. Uh, so there we go. We have the coefficients of s, so we have minus 2a and we have b okay minus 2a plus b on this side the coefficient is just 0 okay so 0 equals minus 2a minus b grand and the coefficient of uh, s to the power of that should be s to the power of 0 actually constant and so we have plus 1 over here and minus 2b over there so 1 is equal to uh, minus 2b so necessarily straight out b is equal to minus a half okay now if minus 2a minus minus a half is equal to 0 a is necessarily equal to 1 quarter so that minus minus is plus uh, get rid of that. I can't get rid of it there. Hang on a second. Uh, I'll just change my bio, uh, pen to white. There we go. Essentially, I went in a big long rigmarole there, but essentially, you can sort of quickly find out that a is equal to one quarter minus one quarter, and if a is equal to minus one quarter, a is equal to minus c. So that means c is equal to plus one quarter. So h of s is equal to that. Okay, just working it out. One over a quarter uh, minus uh, one over four times uh, over s minus half over s squared plus one quarter over s minus two you can ignore those coefficients now you have them so we have one over we essentially we have a coefficient times one over s we have a coefficient times one over s squared and we have a coefficient times one over s minus two so this is pretty easy stuff now so the inverse Laplace transform is one over s that's just one and the coefficient is minus a quarter we have 1 over s squared that the coefficient of that that's just t and the coefficient is minus a half and 1 over what's the last one 
S minus 2, that the inverse of the Laplace transform of that is e to the 2t. And there we go. That's just simple using the tables uh, there, just to find out those in reverse. Essentially, the uh, main part of this was actually finding those coefficients. Now, that's a th technique known as partial fraction expansion. A lot, lot of stuff there, actually.